Hello and welcome to another The Ray Zone channel video. Today we will be covering stage 7 of the Giro d'Italia 2023 and uh, we will analyze and predict stage 8 of the same race. So stage 7 was uh, really uh, underperforming, a real like snooze fest. Uh, I expected a, a bigger breakaway to go and to fight for the victory. I expected likes of uh, Dombrovsky, Zana, um, Healy, McNulty, a lot of uh, stronger World Tour teams to send their riders. But uh, Dombrowski tried in the, in the in the start, but it was uh, four guys from pro continental teams uh, from Euro Cometa team, Coretec, uh, Intermarche, and uh, Bardiani. In the end, they got something like 15 minutes. Uh, Peloton was just rolling over those climbs, letting them literally take the stage. No, no one was committed to, to, to chasing them. It was just Team DSM on the front for for Lechnesun because they had the pink jersey. But it was it was a, a really slow tempo. Movistar, uh, UAE, Ineos, they, they they pulled a bit in the end. Uh, Francis de Jeu, but. Uh, it was it was nothing. Uh, Bias wins in front of Vacek, so congratulations again to Team Koratek. Uh, massive UCI points for them. They are really capitalizing on this invitation to the Giro. Uh, Simone Petigli, he was like uh, seven minutes down in GC before this stage. He even had uh, a bit of an opportunity to take the Maglia Rosa, but in the end he just comes uh, some three minutes in front of the of the main group. In the main group, uh, Remco Evenpool outsprints Roglic and Pino, who is going <laughs> for the KOM, but also for the GC. So he's, he's not uh, still fully committed to the Malia Azura. Uh, Geraint Thomas in seventh, Almeida, Dunbar, Scaroni. Now Scaroni, he, he could have went to the break and win easily for Astana, Buitrago, uh, Tao in twelfth, uh, Pozzovivo for Israel, Haig, Vlasov, etc., etc. Uh, a bit of time was lost for uh, Rigoberto Uran. He was uh, he doesn't really look good. He was in the back of the group, uh, losing time. So he probably won't won't have a good result in this race. So EF, I think uh, they they are going for Hugh Carty. Uh, he is uh, he looks better than than Uran here. Where Uran can maybe go stage hunting or or just be a domestique. Uh, Dombrovsky was good in 38. Uh, he would also win. Astana literally has like four guys that could have won this this race easily if they were in the break, but it just it just uh, was a weird day. Uh, Bargil uh, also lost some time. Scott, some a lot of guys that that could have went to a break and win, breakaway and win. So. It, it's that kind of a day. So let's go and move on to the stage uh, 8. Now this is a, a real monster stage. Uh, it will... Ah, I don't mean monster stage, but it's a breakaway stage for sure. Uh, 207 kilometers from uh, from uh, Terni to Fossombrone. Some, uh, like I said, 207 kilometers. Uh, a bit of a rolling terrain in the start. Nice climb, uh, 4.9 kilometers at 5.8 percent. So a good breakaway can form there. Then it's uh, a long downhill. We have a sprint in Foligno. Then a bit of a rolling terrain with the bonus sprint. Then again, uh, long downhill, and then we move on to the Il Cappuccino. Il Cappuccini, sorry, climb uh, 2.8 kilometers at 7.7 percent. Now this is a real hard climb, and they are, they'll be doing it twice. So first time. Uh, it will be some uh, 50 kilometers or, or more from the end, uh, but uh, then they go to Monte delle Cesane. It's a bit of a longer climb, 7.8 kilometers at 6.6 percent. Also, also steep in the beginning, and and uh, quite steep in the end. So, so second category climb, a good breakaway will form. We will see them battle on uh, i Cappuccini for the second time. And then the second time, the f the end of the climb is like six kilometers from the finish, and I guess we will see a major attack here, and uh, someone from the break will, will win. I I don't expect I don't expect any GC action because there is a downhill all the way to the finish. Uh, so 
maybe maybe a team or two can 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 try and pull and see if if uh, someone is in trouble but i don't expect a uh, big gc action now this uh, stage is really long we we have like a Michael Matthews would probably be the biggest favorite if 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 it was a burn sprint, but I think it will be really hard for Jay Koalula to to control this stage because of the rolling terrain and those big climbs. So probably they should just send Michaels on in the breakaway and then if he can if he can uh, if he can survive then he can win. Uh, also send Filippo Zana with him, maybe another guy just to pull to be sure. Uh, that the peloton doesn't catch them. Uh, let's see if the odds. Ben, ben Healy, obviously the biggest favorite. He was in. The, in he lost a, uh, a lot of time today too, so he's not a threat in the GC. He's saving his energy at 7.5. Uh, you just have to. You just have to go with uh, Ben Healy. McNulty also is a good option at 11. Now Magnus Court. Uh, typically, I would say that Magnus Court would uh, perform well on this kind of a stage but um, he doesn't look uh, really good at this Giro so I will probably skip him Michael Matthews now I know he looks really good he won he wins a lot of these races so at 12 probably also a good option Roglic uh, and Paul I don't think they have a chance Renzo Rata for Intermarché can also be a good option uh, he, he's, a, he's a good climber, he has a bit of a sprint, so if he can survive that climb, if he goes with a small group, then he can for sure win. Can be also a very good bet. Uh, Vincenzo Albanese, we saw him in the breakaways, he was very active in the first uh, in the first week, so I don't see him, I don't see him really surviving that climb. Also, he lost the sprint uh, for third place, I don't know if he tried. Uh, but uh, still, he he he's from Alo Cometa. They are not the greatest team. They got their victory today, so I don't think they can win uh, two days in a row. Patrick Conrad is also probably a good bet for Bora. He's saving himself. Uh, Bauke Molema can attack for track. Uh, Scaroni, uh, he will probably go now. A lot of guys can go in a break and win this stage. So Scaroni to Betil. I don't think he has the form, but we saw him in Mend. He performed well there. But I will still skip him. Going on hard, Ulisi. Uh, I, I think McNulty is probably UAE guy for this kind of stage. Uh, Velasco Nazana can also be a good option, but he, if he's in a break, then he can go. Uh, Joel Meida, Barguin. I don't think he can win, but Estela Clark, uh, Kovi. A lot of a lot of guys can win this stage, but I would I would say uh, Healy is probably the biggest favorite at 7.5. You have to you have to you have to go with Healy. This is a this is a breakaway stage for sure. He will he will definitely attack. I expect him to be in the breakaway and win. Brandon McCarthy, you have to go with him. Michael Matthews has to be an option. So let's say half a unit on Ben Healy, 0.2 units on McNulty, 0.1 on Matthews, 0.1 on Rota, 0.1 on Conrad, Mole Mascaroni and Filippo Zana. So if this all goes like uh, you can be in, in, in a negative, for sure, uh, a, pro, a World Tour team will win tomorrow and uh, and hopefully we will cash, cash in because those are really good odds and I think one of these guys will win. Uh, thank you all for watching, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, I, I really, I really appreciate all comments. If you have any suge suggestions or feedback, I, I would uh, really appreciate it. Uh, hope to see you again tomorrow and uh, goodbye.